like the West Coast of Ireland, my dad said this, it like chooses its people in a sense that a lot of people pass through, but sometimes you get people and they come in and they might just be planning to stay here for like a week or two, but they're like, fuck, you know this place? Oh, it's amazing, it's got the waves, the lakes, the mountains, the stories, the people, and the whole environment. It just suits people and they end up staying. It's a way of life. That's, you know, without it in a nutshell, it's, I would not be here in Strand Hill only for one thing and that's that Atlantic Ocean. That's, that's the only thing that has me here. I saw what was going on and I just thought, wow, like, this is like these waves, you know, the whole world is looking at these waves and they're on my doorstep. It starts off with the people of the village going out in the dawn out to the seashore when the sea was very rough. And um, it's interesting to look at that kind of lifestyle now and compare it with the surfers. The big waves never did anything for us except generate fear because it meant shipwrecks, it meant um, fishing gear being wrecked and if you didn't know the sea then it would sweep you out so there was nothing about the, the big waves except to fear them and respect them. I remember my first tow wave we were surfing down at Riley's and Lowy uh, towed me into it and I was so scared my legs were shaking and everything I went too high anyway and it was a good solid wave like big tow wave at, at Riley's and I just got flipped up. Like I remember like being like in the barrel, weightless, looking out of the thing and just going in the barrel and then fell down, got like washed back up and around and then just like slammed onto the rocks, but I was just pressed onto the rocks on my back. And everyone was like, oh, are you okay, are you okay? Cause it obviously looked like a pretty crazy wipeout. And I just started laughing my ass off. Cause I was like, yeah, I'm grad, but that was, that was fucking crazy, you know? <laughs> and there's an expression, if I can remember it accurately, I think it was an Aaron Islander, <clears throat> said, if you don't respect the sea, you'll be drowned. And he says, we do be drowned now and again, but it doesn't happen very often, <laughs> because we're respectful of the sea. I'm actually thinking of a wave, so it's like a, a slightly rolling takeoff, and then when you get to the bottom of the wave, it sort of doubles up, and it just goes really, really round, and it's like a nice long section that you go through. So you roll in and it goes real around, nice wide barrel and you just go nice and deep in the barrel and you ride the barrel all the way to the end and then it spits you out so all the air compresses and spits the spray out. So you come out with the spray and you go out, you cut back into the shoulder and then there's like a bowl on the inside so the wave wraps around like this. So then you can get a load of speed and do an air maneuver and then get another little barrel if you want. That's probably my, my perfect wave. Good, really good like the best in surfing and I think because there's so much more that's out of your control and that's why they feel so good is when you when you make a good one there's a lot of things you have to do right but at the same time you're you're relying on the wave to do a lot of things as well you know and, and that's what makes them so special so you don't get them all the time first of all and then when you get one then like you know you're relying on the lip not hitting you and you're relying on the foam ball not eating you up and relying on it not going too fast or relying on it not being too slow and you have to do it and make all the right decisions to make it work so yeah they're rare and that's why it's, it's so sweet. But then sometimes I just love being on any old beat up board just going straight <laughs> just being on a wave and just cruising along you know it's nice to do all these different maneuvers but just to get on anything and just if you're long enough out of it, when you get in, yeah, just get catch away with going straight is like probably the best feeling ever. You you re-energized, you know, you're just whatever whatever it is like, you know, you're just re-energized and you're ready to, ready to do anything and take on anything and the whole lot, like, you know, it just uh, it does lift that big cloud off your head or like, whatever is there, like, you know. It'll have to be 
the people. Yeah, the people. And then the waves, you know, that, that, they're pretty close together, the people and the waves. Obviously, the waves are insane here. For anyone that's listening and they're not from here, it's not actually that good. It's cold and crap. When you go surfing, it's just, you catch up with all the boys, you know, and the girls, and it's just like, you catch up with all your friends. It's a real social aspect too, you know, as, as much as it is surfing. The hardest thing in life, probably, uh, in the winter, like we get the best waves in the winter, but then you only get like seven hours of light or something like that. So like, I've often thought like, how many waves are we missing? Because that there's no, because <laughs> it goes dark, you know? So yeah, I'd definitely say the light, the cold gland is fresh, you know? Good for you. Ha ha ha.